So I'm going to finish up the teapot today. It's been sitting under wrapping for a whole week, so the parts are still very soft, but they're not plastic. They're approaching leather dry, which is perfect. So I'm go during the drying process, the spout got a little tear right here. So I'm going to fix that with a what I call a clay band edge. So I'm taking a little piece of very textured clay that I stretched out and I'm going to measure it up around here to see how much I need. Not that much. I'm just tearing off the end. And then we'll scoring up the bandage. <coughs> Excuse me. Score the spout. That was just a little bit too thin in that area, so that cracked a little bit during its firming up process. But since these teapots are very textural and have a very organic quality to them, I don't mind putting the bandages on it. Actually, it lends to the overall quality of the teapot. Put that bandage around the crack. And because it's such a thin piece of clay, you can press it down and then the seam just flows into the piece. And you can always add a little bit of texture back onto that area or carve a little bit to integrate it even more so. Okay, so that spout is ready to put on. We'll let it sit up just for a few minutes while we work the other components of the teapot. The lid that I started last week, I have not had a chance to score and um, slip this top part on, so I'll do that right now. I'm not using slip, I use the score, add water, uh, score again method to build up a slip on the surface of the um, clay. And then I use reinforcement coils to join the parts very, very well. Okay, so there's a little top knot. And on the inside of it, I just going to put a little bit of pressure with my wooden tool to help join together those two parts and then get rid of the little seam inside of the top knot. Here is the flange that I made last week for the teapot. So I want to make sure that it does fit inside the opening. Now that all the pieces have dried up to the same consistency, they're all a soft leather hard. So it's perfect for doing the finishing touches of joining. So we just want to make sure that this easily slides in and out of the top and then we're going to score it and put it on the bottom of the lid. Scoring the top. Add a little bit of water and score again, and then I'll size it up to the top, to the top of the lid. Once I get a good slip built up on this, I'll put it inside of the lid and press a little bit. So now when I take that back out of there, I can see inside the lid approximately where I need to score because the slip left a little trail behind. I don't know if I talked yet about this little tool that I'm using, but it's a little steel brush. 
think it's made by Camper. And it uh, looks like a needle tool, the shaft of it, and then the top of it, the brush part, is a bunch of little um, metal prongs. And it's a very good, effective tool for scoring. So I'm just pressing that into place in the bottom of the lid. And I have a lot of slip in there, so I'm going to spread that around to help with the joining. And then take a piece of fresh clay, roll out a coil to use as a reinforcement coil on the inside of that flange so that those pieces are well joined. So a little coil like this. And run it around the outside of that flange inside the lid so that I could get a really good join there. And I'll spend a little bit more time with that, pushing it down with the wooden tool, getting it seated into that little groove, and then smoothing it out really well. So I'll spend more time doing that, but I think you get the idea on how to do that. And then let's put the lid on and see which way it goes. Actually, it can go a variety of ways, but I think that's the way I intended it. <laughs>